Coach Josh here at Training Warriors Portland, and I'm uh, hitting my super shake, sh super shake uh, while I talk about nutrition. And one of the things that we do here at Training Warriors is we got a nice shopping list that we give to all of our students to give them the most nutritious foods that they could possibly find and eat as much of those as possible, as often as possible. And that uh, what we don't have, so that's our, that's our shopping list. That's a, you should eat that list. What we don't have is a list of foods to avoid or a list of foods to not eat. And you might wonder why that is, but it's definitely done on purpose because the idea of have, being a restricted eater or trying to control the amount of calories that you're, you're putting in your body, it actually, it takes a lot of energy. You burn up a lot of willpower trying to avoid food. And what happens, and this is statistically speaking, and I'm, I'll put a little nice infographic again below the video so you can check it out, but what happens is people who are restricted eaters, they're so focused on eating what they, or not eating what they shouldn't eat, that they don't get enough of what they should eat into their bodies. And inevitably, restricted eating, even if you temporarily are able to to lose some fat or burn some fat on that plan, you end up having a really strong rebound. And restricted eaters are really, really poor estimates of what calories they do eat. In fact, they're off by as much as 80 to 100%. This is according to a study done in 2006. Now, if that were bad enough, aside from the fact that you're not really controlling how many calories you get in and burning a lot of energy, you're also not getting all of these really good foods that you should be getting inside your body. So you're not helping your brain, helping your metabolism, you're not building muscle and burning fat with the food you eat. At best, you're just not eating so much that you're gaining weight. And that's a short-term gain. That's a short-term game that has long-term consequences. And at, here at Training for Warriors, man, we're thinking about the long view. I want to be better next year than I was this year, and I want to be better in 10 years than I am next year. So it's a matter of thinking about long term, thinking sustainably, and, and, and being good to yourself and good to your body. So that's why we don't have a, a list of foods not to eat, and we don't talk about calorie restrictions or we don't create restricted eaters here at Training for Warriors. We're more, we're more concerned about getting people the right foods at the right times, giving them education, and, and basically teaching them how to fish so that they can consistently get what they need for the duration. So, that's the Training for Warriors eating philosophy and why we don't have a, uh, a list of do not eat items. This is Coach Josh coming at you with some nutrition knowledge, hopefully helping you bring out the warrior within.